Good evening, YouTube Booktube. This is Johnny. I thought I'd make a video since I don't feel like watching any more college football. And I'm kind of tired as usual. It is um, October the 19th here in West Michigan. It is 9.36 at night. It is a Saturday. Yeah, I was going to make a video tomorrow on a Sunday while my wife's at church. But I have these uh, this literature in my main study. And I want to get it back down on the lower level. Now, I have to explain something. Um, somebody made a comment in one of my videos. A fellow booktuber. And he mentioned Nathalie Press. And he mentioned their journals. And I commented back that I collected the Nethali Press when we lived in Houston, Texas. Uh, it, some of you might know that I, I've been collecting Reform Calvinistic literature for almost since 1975. I collect, I used to collect all kinds of booklets, books, book, you know, booklets and sermons and journals and things like that. I don't do that anymore. I do collect, I still buy Puritan works and some reform dogmatics, reform theology. I do buy some of that stuff still today, but not, not as much as I did in my early days. But anyway, the point of this video is that I want to get this done so I can put these down a low, lower level, is to show my Nethali Press collection and what it is. First of all, I, did, I, I went to a thrift store this morning before noontime, before football came on, and I found, one of the books I found, I, I'll show some of, I'll show, I'll do a use thrift store book haul sometime in the future. But this is one of the books I found today, and I've been reading it off and on today, this afternoon. It's Mary McCorkey, The First Queen of Journalism by John Norris. She covered politics in Washington, D.C., starting with the McCarthy trials in the late 40s. And she covered the election of Adelaide Stevenson, and then she covered the, the election of Eisenhower, and then Truman, and then we have, I think it was uh, Kennedy, then Nixon, and then there was, uh, I don't know about Ford, but I know she knew Lyndon B. Johnson. Well, I think, so anyway, this is about her, her, journal, her life as a journalist, and covering those politics there in Washington, D.C. during those years. And uh, so I just looked interesting. I, as I mentioned, I like reading about journalists and writers. And so I picked that up. So I looked at that today. But I did get a book in the mail. I mentioned I was getting a book in the mail. I got it a couple of days ago. Living in Union with Christ, Paul's Gospel of Christian Moral Identity by Grant Miss. Mescal, Mes, Mescal, so I got this in the mail, I haven't even began to read it, so anyway, as far as my diary, I ended on page 851 for the year 2019, I'm on, so tomorrow morning, if I'm still alive, I'll be on page 852. So, okay, this is the Nethali Press. I started collecting these when I, they're no longer being published. I went on the website the other night to see if they're still publishing. They're not, but you still can buy this material. And this is what the Nethali Press is. First of all, it was a journal. <coughs> it's called Nethali Press, an anthology of Presbyterian reform literature. This is winter of 1988, volume one, number one. Now, I'm not going to just read you. What these are are is an anthology of Presbyterian Reform literature. 
for example, you have Bain on Colossians in here, which was a 17th century English Puritan work, commentary on the Epistle of Galatians in New Testament. I'm just going to show these because I don't want to, I don't know how long this camera is going to last the film. So this is volume one, number one, and then you have Netherlight Press, volume one, number two, Bain on Colossians, and James Durham, who was a Scottish Puritan on death. And then you have volume one, number three, anthology, Reformed Literature, Netherlight Press. See, I have the whole set. Uh, then you have volume one, number four. Then it goes number two, volume one, Nethelite Press. This is the winter of 1989. We were living in Houston at that time. See, it's just the whole set. Now, they published them up until the fall of 1990, Nethelite Press. Uh, see, I just show these, the covers of them. This is a picture of, uh, this is like Winter of 1990, Volume 3, Number 1. Let's see, this is Nethelite Press, Anthology and Presbyterian Reform Literature. And what these are, they just contain, they're like writings of the Presbyterians and the Puritans from the Re Presbyterian Reform theological spiritual tradition. Let's see. Also, they have writings from the English Reformation, which is 16th century. This is like, you know, volume three, number four, fall of 1990, Nethelite Press. And then they started putting them in hardbound, these hardbound sets. This is volume four, and this covers 1988. Volume 1, Volume 2. I think what these are, I'm not sure if they, what they did is that they, they, uh, anyway, it's the same thing. Nethelite Press, Anthology, Presbyterian Literature, Volume 4. See, this is Volume 3, then they have Volume 4, which contains four magazines, and then the last one, was this one, Nethelite Press Anthology Presbyterian Reform Literature, Volume 5, and this was 1988, 1989, 1990, 1991. I don't, and so you see, this is 1990. So then they start, and then they stopped. That's the, they didn't publish any more after this one. This hardbound, I don't know why, I can't remember, maybe they ran out of money. This is 1992, Nethelite Press, Dallas, Texas. So, and then, but they also, they published books. Put these back in order. I keep these downstairs in order. Uh, so, yeah, they're really kind of nice if you're really into it. Like I said, I, was, I collected Reform Presbyterian literature and I collected these. And then they also published books. This is James Durham, who lived from 1627 and he died in 1636. No, that's not right. <laughs> It doesn't sound right. Anyway, this is James Duren's book. He was a Scottish Puritan concerning scandal, concerning scandal in general, public scandals, scandalous eras, and scandalous divisions. Nethelite published this in 1990. And they published James Duren's lectures on Job, which came out in... 
I think. This came out, oh, I don't know, 1995. James Durham was, like I said, a Scottish Presbyterian. And they published his Practical Expositions on the Ten Commandments, Nethalite Press. They published this in 19... No. This one came out in... 2002. And then they published this huge commentary by James Durham. This is like a photocopy of a 19th century edition. This was published. This is James Durham's Commentary came out in. They published this. I don't know what time, when they published this, but they published this huge 17th century commentary on the Book of Revelations by James Dern, Nephilim Press. Let's see, it has a. Well, it looked. And then, lastly, I think you know they publish other things I don't have, but I have. Most, and then they publish this book, Nethalite Press: Christ Crucified, the Marrow of the Gospel, and seventy-two sermons on Isaiah fifty-three, by James Durham. This was published in two thousand one. Uh, so, Nethalite Press, Dallas, Texas. So that's my Nephilim Press collection. Somebody made a comment and I said, well, I do have those in our library. But like I said, I collected Reform Presbyterian literature. You know, I still do, but not, not as much as I did when I was younger. <laughs> so once in a while I look at these, but this is back when I lived in Texas and... I basically keep them down on the lower level on a shelf and someday somebody will inherit them. I'll probably give them to some seminary library here in the Michigan area. Also, along with this book, I found this next to these. This is the Spirituality of the Later English Puritans and Anthology, edited with introduction by Dewey D. Wallace Jr. This is a really interesting book if you want a taste of later Puritan spirituality. They have in here uh, selected writings of Thomas Matton, Samuel Clark, James Janeway, uh, ben William Bates, Ralph Vinning, John Flavel, Thomas Vincent, Thomas Doolittle, Thomas Brooks, Walter Marshall. I have, in our library, I have all these people's works, which I've shown in previous. I have the works of William Bates. I have the works of John Flavel. I have books by Ralph Vinning. I have books by Thomas Vinson, Thomas Doolittle. These are all Puritans. I have the reprints. I don't have the originals. I have re the reprints down in the lower level that I've shown some of those in past videos. But this is a good, interesting book. The Spirituality of the Later English Puritans Anthology. I think this was published in 1987. So. so I just want to show that so I can put these down on the lower level for the person out there who made a comment. You might appreciate this video. I'm not going to list these books below the video. Uh, you can go to their website, the Nothing Live Press website, and list all this material if you want to buy it. <laughs> I don't know. So that's it. As far as uh, this is like a Saturday, tomorrow is a Sunday. We're in the middle of the month. It's getting fallish outside. It's been rainy and cold. And like I said, today I just basically watched football and read this book Mary McCorkey, First Queen of Journalism. She worked for the Washington Star which I think later on was bought by the Washington Post. She won Pulitzer Prizes. She had a column. She wrote on politics. Uh, if you look in here, 
there's photos with her with uh, like there's photos of her with uh, she knew Bobby Kennedy she knew John F. Kennedy she uh, see there's a picture of her with John F. with Bobby Kennedy and uh, She's friends with Linda B. Johnson. She was born in 1918 and she died in 2004. There's a picture of her with uh, Clinton, uh, Bill Clinton there. So anyway, so it's just interesting. I like reading about journalists and because they wrote about what was going on in America, politics in Washington, D.C. and those under those presidents. So I just find it just a little snapshot political history in Washington, D.C. So, yeah. So, I hope you had a, a good weekend. They had a good reading week. Like I said, I have stacks of used books and things I've been reading off and on. I still plan to get into this next week. Living in Union with Christ, Paul's Gospel and Christian Moral Identity by Grant Miskill. So, with that, I'll sign off. I hope you're having a good night and that you have a good new week. And thank you for the new subscribers and thank you for the comments. And until next time, bye.